Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome back. So today we're going to be setting up an armor-free XL server uh, thanks to a comment we got from a guy called Be Curious Sergio 007. I think that's right. But anyway, um, yeah, this video is brought to you by G Portal and if you use the link in the description, you'll get 10% off your server. So if you want an armor-free XL server, follow the steps. So what we're going to do is set that up and there you can see the comment on the screen. So let's go over to the G Portal website. And the first thing we're going to do is head over to game servers. Scroll down until we see armor, the armor series here. And you've got Apex, Epoch mod and Exile mod. For this one we're just going to click on the Exile mod. From here we're just going to order one for, for, for 30 days, 4 slots. Nice and easy. Um, if you want to configure it yourself, I would click configure. For this one, I'm going to go with say four slots. 30 days is fine. I'm going to change it to free for the purpose of this video because I don't actually need one. And then make sure we're at the right location. For this, there is only Europe. Unless you're probably on the NA side and there might be an NA or American style account. Let's hit continue. And then you'll just hit play with your balance or pay with PayPal card or whatever payment authorization. But remember, for 10% off, link in the description. Okay, so once that this gets set up, you'll see that the pop-ups come through. You'll receive an email activating. And then you'll get this big bar at the top here. And that's it installing. So we'll be back once that's finished installing. Okay, so now that it's finished installing and you should just basically have this, nothing's turned on, it's just as is. We're gonna jump over to the first set and that's basic sands. Okay, so once it's finished loading or you've just done it magically straight away, for some reason for me it was taking a bit of time there, you'll have the settings area. Here we'll have a look at each area individually. So you've got Armor Free Vanilla, Atlas Life Seal Drop, Exile mod and got wasteland. You want to select the Exile mod. Make sure you have which version you want. I would highly recommend staying with the one that's there. For the server name, let's start with just something simple like their server. Um, if you want to make sure it's password protected, add a password in. Make sure you change your admin password to something a bit memorable that only you know. And then you can hear is mods. Now, we don't have any mods on the server yet, so, uh, and if you want mods, we'll have to do that in a different video. Next thing is the mission. You've got Stratus, Tanoa, or Atlas. For this one, I'm going to do it with Tanoa. Um, actually, we'll do it with Stratus. Stratus is a good one. How many slots? Depends on how many you chose. If you chose, say, four, you can reduce it to two. If you chose more, you can reduce it to lower numbers as well. For verification, um, I would always leave this at two, right? This requires original key verified that or self-implemented key or no key verification if you put it at zero. Steam protocol max data size, I would leave that as is. You don't need to change that. For message of the day, I would highly say like, uh, like for example, welcome to my exile or welcome to theirs etc server you can put what you want here you know uh and then you can remove them or you can add more if you need to for the message interval i would say um how like between at time message say every 12. uh global uh mobilization dlc now this is very important if your players like your friends or whoever you're playing with don't own the DLCs, they may not be able to join the server. Um, though they may even be able to join the server and they'll get a pop-up that states buy this DLC when they go and click on stuff. So it's up to you if you want to activate these. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave these off. Then you've got 64-bit and 32-bit. I always say put it to 64-bit. <coughs> Extended um, settings. So mission vote, leave it at zero. We don't need a mission vote. Vote threshold, zero. 
Disabled Vaughn allowed in-game voice chat. Turn that off. In-game voice chat, let's leave it on. It's always handy. Unless you're on all in Discord, then feel free to turn it off. Vaughn codec quality is up to you. Um, but I would say definitely put that at like maybe uh, five or actually, I'm not actually sure. I'd have to look up at that one. Leave it as in. Let's just disable the voice for now. Use Discord. Okay, Perlista mission will still continue after the last players. So, do you want the server to stop when you everybody's off? And then reactivate when one person comes online. So, runs without player means it will constantly keep going and going and going. Run with uh, uh, stop mission means the minute all players are off, it will the server will stop and you'll carry on where you left off. So I'll keep it running constantly. Battle Eye Extended Control, that's uh, starts Battle Eye Extended Control with the server. Battle Eye is always handy, it stops cheats, things like that. Max ping, I would leave this as zero because <laughs> you don't want that. Um, unless you've got like, you don't want like Americans or anybody else on your server. That way, I would leave it as is. The next one is auto starts the next mission cycle. To leave that off. We don't need that. We don't have missions. It's just one mission, which is exile. File patching. Leave that off. Allowed file patching. Um, there is no client by default. And then you can choose the difficulty. Now, I would highly recommend for the purpose of this video or the purpose of you starting up, you leave it on regular. But if you want to make it harder or easier, you can. Then click save. Okay, so once this finished saving, the next thing you want to do is we're just going to go through step by step. So I'm just going to move my camera real quick so we can actually have a look see. So over here, you see you've got config files, FM, which you don't need to worry about, right? All it does is basically what we've just edited. Okay. Then you've got the SQL, which is basically your database, your logs for the server. If you don't see anything here, it's because you haven't booted up your server yet. Here, you'll have mods. Um, the ones that, are ma that matter are these two. So don't worry about it if you don't see the others. Then we have auto update. Make sure that this is always on. Restarts, make sure you have one for daily. So just make it for whatever time suits you best. Then you have backup. Always create a backup at the, when you first make your server and then every week or month after. And then permissions. If you need to add someone like a friend who you run the server with, get them to make a G portal account, get them to give you your username and then give their username. And then you add their username to that box and hit add. And then they will see your server appear on the main, my servers area. If you need support, Head over to the support tab and then click on write a ticket and then choose the category, which would be armor and then the server and then the title and description of your issue. If you need any other help and I'm, I'll be glad to answer your questions to the best of my ability. Um, <clears throat> but feel free to leave a comment below. I hope that helped you out. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget your 10% off in the description. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.